My name's Stephen Waddington. I am a director with Ketchum in Europe uh, and I help our clients and our businesses around Europe uh, get to grips with modern forms of media. Almost certainly attitude uh, and, and, and frame of mind. So uh, you can set out a job description against a very specific set of, of uh, attributes, but the business is changing so quickly at the moment. Everyone needs a core skill set around their role, of course they do, but they also need the state of mind to be flexible enough to move with the business as it moves, because it's all going so quick. A number of ways. Um, we have a very rigorous hiring process. That hiring process looks for, for certain attributes within uh, an individual. Um, typically, you want them to have a, a good domain expertise in their area of, of specialism. But you also, I also look for, for other dimensions to, the, to their lives so that they're an interesting individual uh, and they're part of, they take an active role in the communities are, are around them. Um, because that, I think that's a sign of a good, well-rounded um, rounded individual. Then very strong um, induction processes and reviews th through that, that, that induction process um, so that you, you set people up for success because I think that's really important. So CV is really important because it sets out um, basic levels of skills and expertise and allows you to benchmark people on paper one against another. Increasingly, however, as you, as you suggest, because um, we're working in a, a social world, you want to ensure that the people that you're hiring have, are, are familiar with the different uh, tools and skills that they need to apply in their day-to-day -day role. So we get a lot of people walking through the door as candidates saying, oh yeah, I'd get Twitter, I'd get blogs, um, you know, I do a bit of Facebook, but then you go and look on their Twitter page and you know, they haven't tweeted for a couple of years. And, and so you can spot people very, very quickly. So use social forms of media to tell the story of their work. Um, increasingly, you find the candidates that do use these, these new tools as, as, as you've outlined, so blogs, Twitter, and such like, they build their own for a profile. They participate broad, more broadly within the industry through their own communities. And so the chances are those candidates are spotted by the, the agencies and brands that want, uh, want to hire them before they go looking for a, a job. So those candidates are very special, very rare. Whenever I'm speaking to, to students, I said the, the best thing you could possibly do to set yourself up for success is to start writing a blog and follow the agencies and organizations that you want to and aspire to work with uh, and engage with, with them. Uh, and the chances are they'll be knocking on your door before, before you reach out to them. Uh, lack of preparation, not turning up on time, it's all the basic stuff that, that, um, that, you sh you know, that you, 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 we've always ever seen. Um, nothing, sometimes you really think nothing, nothing has changed. Um, I would encourage people always to, pre always to be prepared, over-prepare, uh, if anything. I don't think you can ever over-prepare for an interview situation. Uh, take along examples of your work, use props. Um, and put yourself as fully in control, command and control of the, situ of the interview situation as you can. Um, always be interested in the business and ask questions as well um, so that the interview becomes a dialogue as it should be rather than a question and answer session. Uh, I would say so, absolutely. Uh, I don't think your career, your career is so important to your life. You know, you, you spend at least eight or nine hours of your day, uh, five days a week doing your job. I think if you, you should find a role and uh, work for an organization that you're passionate about uh, and, and um, planning your career should absolutely be, be part of that. And one of the things I'm trying to do with the public relations industry through my role at the CIPR is to help people plan for, for the future and think about continuous professional development and advancing uh, their own career. So they're in control of their career rather than being reliant on their employer to, to tell them what the next step is. <laughs> so you're looking for the dream candidate always. Uh, and um, increasingly we're seeing integrated, uh, sorry, forms of marketing uh, integrated right within the heart of, of a business and, and public relations and 
communications. So that requires all the skills that's required in the, in the past, so in terms of creativity and technical understanding, but it also, um, it, as we've heard today here from the IAB, it requires that you're able to justify yourself at the highest level in, in the organization in terms of your contribution to that organization's purpose. So yes, you, you need those triumphant of, of skills, but it's the rare candidate that, that has them. Source LF are London's leading creative communications and media recruitment agency. Be sure to like our video and subscribe to this channel. Take the moment to watch another of our videos on screen now.